AM Prime and WESN Content Capsule pleased to partner with North Coast Jazz and Heritage Festival 2023, which is days away. Days away takes place uh, on Saturday. Movie night actually kicks off the entire festival uh, Friday night. But this morning, I am welcome to join to the party, because it's party time in Blanchard. on Saturday, Miss Stacey Sobers. She's with me in the studio. Good morning, Miss Sobers. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. In fact, I'm looking forward to your performance on Saturday. Oh, thank you. More than anything else, but I'm privileged enough to have a conversation with you before that time yes. comes. So let me ask you a question. Who is Stacey Sobers? Well, Stacey Sobers um, has been on the music scene for a little over 20 years now. Um, I started singing uh, reggae. I did party time in 1994. Do not count. <laughs> not counting. Okay, then. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, um, and then I, I branched off into Calypso. So I'm currently a Calypsonian. Uh, I sing with the Divas Calypso Cabaret International. And I also manage the tent. And well, I dabble in all other genres of music. So here I am, North Coast Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's actually great. But um, it's reggae to Calypso. There is a, a, a relationship between reggae and Calypso. In fact, um, uh, it has been argued that reggae stems its roots are from Calypso. From yes. Calypso. Yes, so was that transition easy? Absolutely. I mean, music is music where I'm concerned. I keep telling people music is music. And um, once you love music, it doesn't matter the genre. Once you, you dabble and you listen and you feel and you love, you will transition easily. And the transition was fairly easy for me. Mm -hmm. And what about, uh, you know, you just said uh, music is music. Yes. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking about um, this festival where all walks of life come together, where everybody from Transbago and beyond, mm -hmm. uh, we're all meeting. And from reggae to calypso, I've heard of individuals who've gone from reggae to calypso to R&B, yeah, they've dabbled yeah. and everything. Music does not discriminate, does at it? At all, at all. I mean, we were all well, musicians. Everyone have a talent. Talent bestowed on you is just the way you use it and how you project it, how you share it with the people. Music, as I said, is music. And is it also a form of uniting a people? Absolutely. Is it just one thing human beings could actually all agree upon? Yeah. And there's this, this song, I think, um, for every... Every pain, there's a melody. Is that chronics? Every pain, there's a melody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for every trouble, there's a harmony. Music unites, music heals, music, you know, it, it just, music is an all wrong healer, mm -hmm. I should say. And in terms of your works, in terms mm -hmm. of your original works, tell us some, a, a bit about some of your tracks and, and what they mean to you, in fact, how they even, how you even inspired to write them. Um, okay, so um, I haven't written in a while. Uh, so I've been sourcing music, but what happens for me is that we come up, come up with ideas and we look for writers, mm -hmm. explain to them what this song should be, what it should feel like. And they pen and we internalize and, and put out the music. But for me, it always has to be positive. It must be a positive message, something to uplift, something to, to um, advise, that kind of thing. So it's always positive on my end. So then, is it that... Music also allows you to see the positive from the negative. Absolutely, because I mean, where there's a will, there's a way. It's always a silver lining. So we just have to look for that and, and apply it. Now, you just mentioned that um, you would speak to writers, you know, tell them this is what I'm feeling, this is what I'm looking for, this is what it should really sound like. But so your role and your position, having been in, in music for a number of years, you're also helping young writers and young musicians as well foster their talent. Absolutely, because um, as I said, everybody has a talent. If I can write, somebody else has to be able to write, even if they don't have the inspiration. They could get it from somewhere else. You could share with, with them your thoughts and allow them to be creative. Do yeah. you think, do you think that that, um, that gift that you're sharing or, or, or that knowledge, that experience, do you see that happening with, with musicians generally, or does a lot more need to be done in your uh, eyes? For the most part, it happens. I mean, we could extend ourselves more, uh, but for the most part, I, I think, um, especially studio work, I think we, we see the creativity gelling there, where the artist would, would lays with the producer or the writer, and I mean, come together and make something special. So it happens. Maybe not as, 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 as much as we wanted to, but it does, it happens. So why North Coast Jazz and Heritage Festival 2023? I went to North Coast Jazz. My husband took me to North Coast Jazz, I think it was 2019. That year, Tree Canal was on. 
uh, we're chicken al fans. Yes, I said it, <laughs> we're chicken al fans. Um, and we went to North Coast Jazz, and I was blown away by the ambience, the people. I mean, I see people that I know from all over, right? Uh, the music was awesome. And we looked at each other and said bucket list, because we made bucket list, no <laughs> bucket list. We put everything on the bucket list and, and tried to achieve them. Um, and uh, John and John Gill and Marva, Margaret. Auntie Margaret came to one of my shows. And John said, you know, we could do North Coast Jazz. But it didn't happen the next year. So 2023, here I am, making the bucket list possible and happen. Thank you very much for having me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can we look forward to for DC Silvers? Um, a really nice set. Uh, the set is some of everything. A little authentic jazz, a little mix up soca with jazz. And um, just Stacey Silvers putting her all into what she loves to entertain and make it nice. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you just said a little bit of soca with, with jazz. I think that's interesting. I've, I've heard that mm -hmm. happening before, but is that our, you, you know how you see music taking place now? You've got dancehall, then you've got Trinidad, just as music is taking place. Mm. Is this soca confusion with jazz, Trinidad's own genre of jazz? Is it that we're making I, it our own? I would like to believe so. I mean, we have the Von at Big Fud, who does a lot of soca mix, soca jazz crossover types. Uh, songs. Um, so it is, yeah, I absolutely would think that's something that we are honing in Trinidad. But certainly something like taking the, the script to a power soca song and mm. even trying to uh, translate it to jazz. Yeah. That certainly mm. doesn't sound like a very easy task. I mean, we come back to the, to the line that I just said, music is music. music. Is music. With um, these, once, once it, you have that that feel for the music, and you could, any genre will work, any genre will work. And like you said, everything so, stems from Calypso, so, <laughs> so anything will work. <laughs> How crucial, and I like that, by the way, because I love my music. Mm -hmm. I'll go all the way back as the 1950s and 60s. All right. I absolutely love it. Um, but what you're just mentioning there, in my mind, it's, it's, it's obstacles to me, and it seems as though it just comes so naturally to you, yes. which is excellent. Mm -hmm. But. You, how crucial is, is, is you know, festivals and, and, and performances such as North Coast Jazz to the music industry and by extension even young and upcoming artists in your mind? And I think, especially in Trinidad, we, we may not have enough of that type of thing. I mean, we, we, we see North Coast Jazz has been a big event for the last couple of years and um, I think if we introduce the youth more to this type of thing, we have less crime. <laughs> because it's a love vibe. And it's, it's crucial to not just the artists or the industry, but to communities where you take the music, where you, where you, where you hold shows, you invite people. You, I mean, you give away some tickets and let the youth come out and see what it's all about. It's very, very, very crucial to the industry and to the community and to Trinidad and Tobago as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. But does the support exist? You said more needs to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, now that we've, you know, more or less opened up from the COVID-19 mm -hmm. pandemic, mm -hmm. um, a lot more needs to be done, would you say? Yeah, that? well, I mean, we could push it more. I mean, this is our thing. Yes. This is our thing. You know, you see uh, all kind of artists coming from outside and we're supporting it. So we need to push it. We need to get it out to the people and, and, and make it possible for them to come in. I don't know. Would you be staying up in Blanchard's for the weekend? Absolutely. <laughs> you say that like you're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just making, I'm just making sure. Yes, I, I, I will be because I want to experience the movie night because I didn't do that the last time. So I really want to experience the movie night. I just get back to the place, you know? Yeah, but it's really nice. I can tell you from my experience last mm -hmm. year. Uh, the people of Blanchard's are so warm and welcoming. And, and yeah. um, it... Uh, this is the thing, it's putting Blanchers on the map, or at least I hope it does. Yeah. You know, and um, even by you performing, you're contributing to that development. Yes. Would you say that you feel it's your responsibility to do so? Or is it more Absolutely. that I just want to do it? Absolutely my responsibility. As a Calypsonian, we are the newspaper. I mean, not just to bring the bad news, but to bring the good news. To uplift people, see an article in paper, say, hey, let's make me smile today. I want to be that person at North Coast Jazz. We make somebody smile, yeah? Make somebody feel happy, some type of way, you know? But so, if, yeah. if even in your position, even mm -hmm. if you're facing difficulty, mm -hmm. 
uh, who in, in, then is your newspaper in terms of spreading of good news? <laughs> Anita Mika, <laughs> <laughs> Sigurd Sanja, <laughs> Stalin, um, Malin Asher, because that's my brother. I like to listen to his music. Um, yeah, a whole lot of people. Music is, is, is life. <laughs> I listen to a lot of gospel too, so. Hey, yeah. the, first, uh, the first artist in Anita Baker. I don't even say artist, legend in mm -hmm. Anita Baker. You mm -hmm. call her, it's like instantly, yes. Totally yes. agree with you, mm -hmm. totally agree with mm -hmm. you. She just has the student type of uh, thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I certainly look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Like I Thank said, I, I, I will look for you. I'll make sure I see you. <laughs> Trust me. I, I, as I've said before to some artists, I'm going to be the one standing right in front of you. Say, hey, this is me. Hey, <laughs> you remember me, Stacey? <laughs> no, you, I'm, I'm crazy. Just to, I might even run up on stage with you, but then. Ma if I call uh, you and you don't come, we will fall out. Just saying. And she's put me on the spot on yes. air, on national television. She's Let her practice some songs, Is practice some harmonies, some kind of thing. Or oh, dance. I'm beginning to regret this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you don't see me, it's, it's because, you know, um, Margaret and John. No, was because like, you're uh, hiding. I, no, I'm not hiding. Mm -hmm. I'm not, trust me, I, won't be, I, be, I promise you, I will be right there in the middle of the crowd. And I'll be looking for you, you know. <laughs> okay. I'm holding you to your word. <laughs> Stacey so <much. laughs> This has been absolute fun. So the party has started here in studio and we're taking it, uh, we're, we're building it up until Saturday. Yes. I look forward to seeing you there. Unfortunately, it won't be there on Friday night. That's all right. All right, good. So you'll see me on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> And so was best of luck to you and thank, thank you for you so your much. contribution thank you. to the development of music, the thank continued you. development. Welcome. And uh, Saturday is party time in Lanchester. Yes. See you all on Saturday. Make sure you get tickets. <laughs>